this is Susan Sun on the Maker with SunIsFuture.net, and here in this uh, wonderful setting, we have Mr. David Haig to tell us a little bit more about Gerlicher and in this particular uh, uh, conference at Intrasolar of North America, we actually uh, do uh, <laughs> find a lot more use. Oh, Gerlicher, tell us about what your company does and what is its future outlook and uh, what it's hoping to accomplish. Oh, well, thank you, Susan. Well, Gerlicher Solar Americas Corp is a company of the M&W Group. Uh, the M&W Group is a 100-year-old precision engineering procurement and construction firm. Uh, Gerlicher Solar fits inside of their energy and efficiency, energy and efficient, energy and environmental technologies group. Uh, Gerlicher is, a, is at our heart a, uh, a solar EPC, an engineering procurement and construction firm. So we partner with uh, tier one project owners to build utility and commercial scale uh, PV projects. And is it pretty much of a global company or is it focused just in North America? Sure, yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, our, our heritage is, is global. Uh, last year we were acquired by the M&W Group uh, from a, a, for, a former parent company. Uh, but as a, uh, we were, we've, we've been the America's uh, business unit for a few years. Uh, M&W Group has been uh, historically, you know, moving into the renewable energy sector uh, across Europe and the U.S. And so they acquired us last year and, and we helped them build quite a, a project portfolio uh, to add to their business. Well, as solar energy is, is definitely becoming a multi-billion dollar industry, we can see that there's going to be a great deal of expansion and a lot of work for you to do. Um, what would you foresee in terms of uh, the future growth for your company? Sure, that's a, that's a great question. I mean, the, the, the future growth of the solar industry in, in general is something that, you know, obviously I, I spent a lot of time thinking about. Uh, and there's a lot of emerging opportunities coming into the PV industry. We, we're, we're as, a, as, as an industry as a whole, PV has definitely become ubiquitous for utilities and for commercial applications. The, uh, uh, you know, all the major tier one utilities are now em embracing solar as a, as a power generation source, as a power generation asset. And many of their deregulated development arms uh, mm -hmm. are making investments into utility scale projects. But beyond just being a, a generating asset, solar is beginning to really provide opportunity to uh, avoid transmission and distribution upgrades by distributing the generation assets around the grid and pairing them with other technologies, control technologies and storage technologies to stabilize the grid. And we're seeing a lot of new market opportunities emerge in the, in the PV plus storage or just the standalone storage space within the U.S. Yes, solar industry is definitely becoming more than just a save the world uh, slogan and uh, we are actually getting into the area that people can truly benefit economically, financially. Um, yes, yes. So how would you uh, suggest to our viewers how they may be able to benefit by associating with Gerlicher? Well, just to, to, to touch on your point of, of solar is, is moving beyond a, you know save the world uh, mm -hmm. type of technology. Solar and is as a as a generating asset is you know now beginning to align uh, from a cost competitiveness with with coal, the, the cheapest fossil uh, fuel uh, technology available, and solar is a is a much easier generating asset to permit and build than any other. Uh, generating asset. Solar is quite reliable, you know, when compared to other renewable resources such as wind. We, yes. you know, we can predict the sun, we can predict uh, annual uh, uh, power generation. We have less, uh, solar has less moving parts. That's right, it has, you know, for definitely. And when you uh, start looking at opportunities to firm uh, solar energy with, with storage and other types of technologies, mm -hmm. then uh, it becomes much less of a let's save the planet and much more of a, a secure asset mm -hmm. that we can you know rely on from a renewable source from a you know uh, converting energy from a very available source uh, the sun and not rely on you know imports or other 
greenhouse gas emitting technologies. Right. And not to mention it's great for national security and in addition to save our environment and energy cost. Yeah. And, and when we look outside the United States into some uh, n you know, new and, uh, and emerging markets for PV, you know, we can look to the Caribbean, we can look to Latin America, uh, Chile is, a, is a, an emerging market for, yes. for PV, mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, you know, again, the opportunity to reduce those countries or those markets' dependence on imports mm -hmm. uh, provides a huge economic benefit to you know the local community and in the United States, you know the we get we talk about average uh, power prices in the range of uh, wholesale range of you know uh, seven to twelve cents a kilowatt hour. In markets that are reliant on diesel generation, those rates jump to you know upwards of you know thirty five forty cents. So there's a lot of opportunity to. You know, build new assets that are you know greenhouse gas friendly, that are uh, you know friendly to non-imports, uh, that can stabilize grids, can, can save money in transmission and distribution uh, upgrades, and you know provide a firm you know product that can power industry and and provide provide power to communities. We definitely will look forward, and I hope all the viewers out there will be for looking forward to investing in solar in many different ways and uh, well thank you very much really appreciate your time and signing off with um, mr david hay of girl curve and susan sanonaker with sanasafisha.net thank you very much